Hi viewers, I'm Hassan and you're watching my YouTube channel. Today's topic is uh, the cable sizing for group of motors. Uh, in my previous video, we have uh, discussed about uh, the cable sizing for the individual motors. Uh, but this time, uh, we have made a slight change and it, is, it would be very informative for you, especially when you are having uh, a lot of motor into your systems in an in a industry or maybe uh, somewhere we are where you are installing more than one or more than three or four motors so in that case uh, you need to address the issue of uh, the cable sizing of the main feeder so uh, let's move forward i hope it would be very informative uh, keep watching this video and subscribe my channel so first of all uh, we'll take an example uh, where we have a group of motors um, and uh, the number of motors in our system is around five numbers uh, which includes uh, the capacity of uh, 10 horsepower 20 horsepower 30 40 and 50 horsepower so these five motors are connected in the downstream and this is further connected to the main feeder and right now we are looking forward how to calculate the cable conductor size for the main feeder which is further connected to all these motors so the voltage uh, in, the, in our system is 4 and 15 volt. The power factor for all these motors is 0.8. The efficiency of the motor is 95%. The service factor for the motors is again 1 and 15%. Uh, so that is the maximum uh, overloading capacity of all these motors. That is around more than, uh, uh, it's around 15% uh, above the actual full load ground. So the, uh, let's calculate the full load ground for all these motor first and then we'll uh, we'll move on how to calculate the minimum cable size of the group of motors so first of all uh, on motor number one uh, the full load current we are getting is around 13.6 ampere uh, and this for this can be easily calculated with the formula of power uh, just rearranging the power formula you can calculate the full load current that is p is equal to under three vi cos theta efficiency for motor two uh, we are getting the full load current value around 27.3 amperes. Uh, similarly, for motor 3, we are getting 40.96, and motor 4 for 54.62 amperes. Okay, uh, for the motor number 5, as it is uh, uh, the highest rating motor, that is around 50 horsepower. Uh, so, therefore, we are getting the highest uh, full load current, that's 68.28 amperes. So, that is a tricky part when we, uh, where I want you to uh, make an attention because uh, for the highest motor what we need to do when you are calculating the conductor size uh, the minimum conductor size for the group of motors uh, we need to add on the 125 percent factor on the uh, motor capacity which is having the higher full load current so here as the highest uh, rating motor is 50 horsepower so we're getting uh, the full load ampere is 68.28 amperes so what we don't need to do we only need to add the 125 percent factor in this motor full load current and the remaining motors uh, we just need to add on the values of the full load current and uh, to get the minimum cable size for the group of these motors so we are getting the value around 222 amperes so what we need to do just need to multiply the 68.28 with a uh, 125 uh, percent factor and then add on the rest of the uh, full load currents of the individual motors okay so you're getting 222 amperes so let's move on so firstly we need to calculate as you all know that every time when you're calculating the cable sizing you need to fulfill four uh, three conditions one is the voltage drop the other one is the current and the third one is the short circuit so firstly we need to understand what is the voltage drop uh, uh, either we are fulfilling the voltage drop condition so the minimum cable size what we are getting uh, for this group of motors is 222 amperes the length of the conductor we are getting here is 200 meters so we are with the help of the cable table let's go to the cable table so we get we are selecting a cable of 185 mm square size cable okay and uh, the value of the millivolt per ampere per meter is 0.26 so in the formula of the voltage drop as we used this formula previously in 
several other videos so you just need to add on uh, the values the millivolt values is 0.26 the current rating for the minimum cable size that we have calculated is 222 amperes the length of the conductor is 200 200 meters and we can easily calculate with this formula the voltage of we are getting is 11.54 volts similarly we can also calculate the voltage of percentage which is coming around 2.78 amperes as you all know that the voltage drop uh, should be less than 2.5 percent uh, or the maximum uh, it should not exceed 5 percent as per the standard practice so the voltage drop formula that we have used is over here is uh, vd is equal to millivolt per ampere per meter into current into length divided by thousand so let's move on now we will calculate the cable size according to the current as we have fulfilled uh, the voltage drop condition now we need to check out the current rating as well so the minimum cable size is 222 amperes the conductor size uh, length is 200 meters the cable size that we have selected is 185 4 core copper xlp arm and pvc and one run is uh, uh, is preferred here so we go to the cable table and see and the 4 core 185 mm square cable will give you around 463 amperes okay so what you need to do you need to add on the derating factors the, so here the ambient temperature is not the ground temperature is ambient temperature so the ambient temperature for this condition is 45 degree and uh, the derating factor would be 0 0.87 or 45 degrees centigrade so the derating factor only one that is 0 0.87 into one because we are using the one run of cable so the derating factor we are getting is 0 0.87 so the derating current can be easily calculated by dividing uh, the minimum cable size conductor that is uh, amperes that is 222 amperes just dividing this value with a uh, derating factor you will get the value of the derating current that is 255 amperes so uh, by calculating by multiplying the derating factor with the current value that we have received from the cable table that is 463 you are getting the value of 402 amperes which is higher than uh, the derating current value and also higher than the minimum cable size of the group of motors so that means the one run of four core 185 mm square copper xlp arm and pvc is sufficient to carry 402 amperes which is greater than the derating current as well as the minimum cable size amperes so let's move on the last and most important uh, the cable selection according to the short circuit current it is very simple you can calculate uh, the short circuit current value either with the help of this chart or with the help of the formula the formula we use for this purpose is uh, area is equal to current into under root t that is t is the time duration divided by the k k is the constant value so as we are using the copper xlp cable the constant value is 143.08 the cable size is 185 mm square the time durations we are taking here is one second so with the help of the formula we're getting the value is 26.46 kilo amperes okay so with the help of the chart you can easily calculate uh, let's take the time duration is one second on the x-axis and on the y-axis we have the current in kilo amperes okay so so, uh, so we move on uh, the y-axis value and see where the 185 mm square cable falls here it is you see here it is and then you move on the x-axis and find the value of the kilo amperes so the kilo ampere value is coming up here is around uh, uh, is greater than 25 or is uh, fall between 25 and 30 or 25 and 27 so it's uh, equals to 26.46 kilo ampere so with the help of formula you can calculate the exact value and with the help of the chart you can find out you know the approximate value so that's all i hope uh, this video will be very informative for you and i want you to uh, use uh, these calculations into your uh, uh, into your practice so that would be very beneficial for you and you will get, make a safer um, cable size selection especially for the group of motors thanks for watching my video please uh, subscribe my channel and like my videos so i will keep on continue to upload these kind of video in future as well thank you so much bye for now